or cheap and reliable coins, head over to utnice.com and go to the checkout. Once you've picked the coins you wanted, use JT11 as the code and get yourself an extra 6% off on your orders. What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at Inform Zachariah, and this card genuinely looks fantastic. He looks a very, very good DM. And even last year, I think we got... Did we get a big one? We got 91 uh, Path to Glory, but before that we got a UCL, and that was pretty much it. He did start at an 83 last year, so obviously we already had a head start of what he's got now, basically. But a huge, huge upgrade in terms of 80 to 83. Can't argue with it. He's had upgrades on pace, 5 on shooting, 5 on passing, 3 on absolutely everything else. So, to be honest, not a bad card. Obviously, in terms of chemistry style, we will be rocking that shadow. So, we'll end up with 96 pace and 91 defending. That is very, very good for an 83. Turns him into an 87 CDM or even an 89 center back if you should choose. Unfortunately, no traits on him. And he is a freestyle, freestyle. Right footed, six foot three, so a big, big unit. And I think he can move. 70 agility, 67 balances. Slightly a worry. Good reactions, composures up there. Um, passing wise, good short. Long game is a little bit hit and miss. And then obviously the strength and aggression is fantastic. So we're going to stop waffling as much as we do. He is coming in at 87,500 coins on the Xbox and 79 on the PlayStation. Let's see if he's worth it and if you should make a Bundesliga team. Into Zachariah that's going to mop up. Little ball across. And I can imagine he's going to be one of them ones that can just literally play out of his feet. He is a very, very strong lad as well. Zachariah seeing it out. Bullying his way through. And again, holding on. Nearly gets the pass off. He does manage to get that. So we've got to watch that we are not necessarily giving the ball away so much there. As Umpre Meccano just absolutely bodies his way through. Zachariah showing his face, always getting back. That's what you want to know from him as well. It isn't necessarily just the kind of positioning. It is also kind of how much he goes forward, how much he goes back. You can then kind of justify whether you need to have him stay back whilst attack, which I think is probably a smart option if you... Oh, that was a bit of a poor ball. Went for a little bit lucky, finding in silver. But yeah, you want to go for, obviously, what you need. Zachariah getting back doing his defensive duties and again we find it sitting perfectly in that dm role it's a great pass out to the defender we find one more ah we get drawn up short from the attack do find zachariah back on it we've ran straight into muriel he's gonna have a little bit of fun with it gonna win it back though that's what we want to see does lose it but he does win it back as well Zachariah straight on him. That strength is going to be massive. Literally being six foot three, he's always going to have a healthy helping hand of strength as well. So that is going to be huge. And Kunku with the finesse. Good save from the keeper. I think the, one of the best things, where is Zachariah going? The one thing about Zachariah is going to be that his kind of in form is going to be so, so cheap. So if you are running a Bundesliga team, maybe can't afford like a Goretzka or a Kimmich, then he's going to be a cracking one that when the promo packs come out is going to absolutely fly down, or at least I think so. I think the promo packs should come out. We should get a lightning round. So it should make that all the in forms completely go bust. And Kunku feeding in Pele. What can we find from here? We're going to look back. Throwing in Kunku. It's going to chip everybody. But unfortunately, it is a little bit of a lackluster shot. Went for a little bit of a cheeky one. Tried to get him in. But unfortunately, he saw past that one. Zachariah looking to spend it. I can see a bit of Diaby. Okay, that's not where I hit it. Another thing with Nkunku as well is the price, if we do get promo packs, will be incredible because he will literally drop down to complete discard if we do get lightning rounds of 125s, especially being the first round of lightning rounds. It's just going to be absolutely mad. And with the likes of Ronaldo in one to watch, regardless of it is Ronaldo or Messi, it's going to be crazy. Zachariah with the interception, really impressed so far. The, t the card looked nice already. Then the stats looked really good. So I'm, I'm really happy with him. I think he's a, f a phenomenal card for the price as well. I think the only slight worry with Zachariah was going to be his... Uh, oh, wow. 
peach of a ball over. The only problem with, uh, or the only kind of concern with Zachariah was going to be his kind of agility and balance being considerably low, like it's more kind of centre-back worthy rather than actual CDM as he's just been killed with the ball. Going to try and find a pass off though. Finds Mbappe who's just going to nut it into the net. But to be honest, he's doing really well. There's not too much turning that needs to be done. And he's, he's controlling that CDM role. I think he's doing a stand-up job. Back into him. He's feeding the play out consistently this whole game. Done very well with feeding it. Zachariah with the block. And again. Cracking ball from Zachariah. And again, good tackle, but doesn't win it. So going into the overall for Zachariah then. Coming in at 85,000 at the moment. Obviously, going to fluctuate up and down until Friday. And then I can see an absolute plummet coming in if we do get the promos. Even if we don't, I can see him coming down a good amount just because premium packs are going to be opened at the very, very minimum. So if they do just give you like the jumbo premium packs, which I have think they've done before, but with one to watch Ronaldo and Messi, they're going to have to give us lightning rounds pretty much. So I think that's going to be the start of it. And more than likely, we'll see this card absolutely hit the floor. We normally always do when it comes to lightning rounds, and especially when it's 83 rated, you just won't have he won't be that rare to not pack you have to pack somebody and that and, and him and also Nkunku are going to be two of the big ones if we do look at the team of the week as well they are considered one of the better ones so you have got all the likes of all of these still but when it comes to the big boys Benzema, Barella, um, Jesus you've then and Navas I suppose then you've kind of got the middle lot you've got Felipe Anderson you've got Nkunku, Zachariah, Herodeki they're going to be the ones that are going to be packed more than anybody but that being said, Zachariah looks a fantastic card. Obviously, as he gets more and more upgrades, I think he's going to be a class CDM. Yes, he may not be the best CDM on the game in terms of Bundesliga because we do have the likes of Kimmich, we do have the likes of Goretzka, but he isn't a, a, he's not a bad, unaffordable one, especially when that price comes down. You're going to find him for what? I'd say 20k at a very, very minimum. He's going to be about 20k, and you're going to be able to pick him up for nothing, and it's going to be at the same sort of level six foot three built like a brick has then the chance of a shadow which just masses up his pace and defending and turns him into an 87 cdm the only thing that Kimmich and Goretzka will have better is the agility balance and, and that's just natural um, unfortunately there's nothing we can do about that but as we do get more and more into Zachariah, I feel like he could be a very, very usable card with the likes of like a an 86 up to an 88 rated card. We could start to see that agility balance kind of literally balance out and really make a nice card out of him. Overall for this one, I'm going to give him an 8 just because I feel for an 83 first in form is going to be good. For the Bundesliga side, he will do well. I just will always suggest that he Get him on Friday. At least check if we've got promo packs. If not, then obviously he will be the same sort of price and he would have gone down by then anyway. People have more time to pack him and then really you want to be waiting till Tuesday if there is nothing. Because more than likely, the more days you leave it, the more times people have packed him and the less demand that's going to be needed for him because people who want him have got him. So let me know down below what you think about Zachariah. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.